Marina Sabalenka versus Alina Rabakina is the second semi-final for the ladies Madrid Open for 2024. Both players have had different rows to get to this stage. Rabakina entered the tournament as a number four seed, and we get a buy in the first round. In the second round, she take on Bronzetti, which there's no problem getting through in straight sets. 6-4, 6-3. In the third round, she take on Sharif, who had just beaten Kostruk the previous round. But again, no problem for Rabakina getting through in straights. 6-1, 6-4. In the fourth round, she take on the qualifier Bilek, who had beaten Callan Skaya in the second round to get here. But again, Rabakina too strong getting through in straights. 6-1-6-3 to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Rebecca would take on countrywoman Putin Seba, who had a pretty good couple of months. And after losing the first set, Rebecca would fight back to win, saving match points at 5-2 down in the third. 4-6-7-6-7-5 to advance to the semifinals. Sebelinga entered the tournament as the number two seed and would get a bye in the first round. In the second round, she'd take on Lynette. And after splitting the first two sets, would fight to win. 6-4-3-6-6-3. In the third round, she'd take on the wildcard Montgomery. And again, after battling through the first two sets, Sebelinga would get through in three. 616764. Six, in the fourth round, she'd take on the 13 seed Collins, who is coming in on a massive win streak after winning her last two events, including Miami. And after going down a set and saving break points in the second, Sabalenka would get through in three. 466463 six, six, to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Sabalenka would play on Draver, a lady she played 12 months before and had the easy win. And this year were no different, with Sabalenka getting an easy win again, 6164 six, to advance to the semifinals. This will played eight times before, with Sabalenka holding a 5-3 lead against Rabakina. However, the last time they played was in Brisbane at the start of the year, with Rabakina getting a 6-love, six 6-3 six win. But they've never played on a clay court, so the first time they're playing on clay could be a really interesting clash, considering both are capable of playing on the surface. Rabakina's going to win this one. She needs to win the first set. If she goes down a set against Sabalenka, the way that Sabalenka's been playing, especially in that Andreva match, she's going to run away with it. So you can't give an early lead to Sabalenka in this one. She's got to win the first set. And she's also going to keep her cool. She was a little bit annoyed against Putin Seva. Now, Putin Seva was getting everything back, so Sabalenka's not going to be like Putin Seva, but she needs to keep her cool. Sabalenka's going to win this one. It's all about the serve and the forehand. She's got to use those ground strokes to move her back and her around. Even though it is on clay and, you know, power doesn't work as well on the clay, it's Madrid clay. So power does work here for some reason, so she's going to have to use that power against her back and to make her move. What a great matchup. I love this matchup. The two biggest hitters of the WTA clashing on a clay court for the first time. But I'm going to go with Rabakina in this one. I just think Rabakina has been a little bit better on the clay lately, and Sabalenka's been good in the last match, but she has been a bit vulnerable where Rabakina hasn't been, and I reckon Rabakina gets in a really close clash, but let me know down the comments below who's making the final.